September 11th, notes from Papa. To my very special child, whom I cherish and delight in always, you need never have even an ounce of fear of me, my child. I know you were taught incorrectly by well-meaning but deceived teachers that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fear is a gross mistranslation of what I intended people to understand. The original word meant to be in reverent awe of, as a small child is of a protective adult who provides for them, loves them unconditionally, always has their best interest at heart, who can solve all their problems and make all things right. That's how I want you and all of my children to see and feel about me. You know that I always love you unconditionally and always have your best interest in my heart. I can solve all your problems and I am continually working out all things for your good. My justice will ultimately prevail. My justice is making all things right for everyone. There's no fear in any of that. Religion translated my word f as fear in order to control, manipulate, drive money and resources. Religion is always based on fear. And I hate it. That's why it's so important for you and everyone to know me, the only true God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, to know us intimately and know that we are all pure agape love that always does what's best for you. Only when a person knows that they then that they can, only when a person knows that, only when a person knows that, can they then be released from all vestiges of fear of us. Fear has to do with punishment, and we do not punish, ever. Never let someone embroidered in religion convince you that you or anyone should fear us. True, pure, loving relationships cannot happen in a fear-based environment. Intimacy can never happen in a fear-based environment. When anyone says, yes, God is love, but he is also wrath, etc., do not listen to them. Do not entertain those thoughts, even the slightest assent of agreement with that perversion of me and my character opens the door to fear me and I absolutely do not want you or anyone to fear me ever. Jesus demonstrated that at the cross. If he had used his omnipotence in any way to scare you at all, to scare you all who crucified him. That would have negated the whole cleansing process of his finished work at the cross. There is no fear in love. Our perfect love casts out all fear. Be assured. Believe me. Trust me. Relax and enjoy me. Have no fear. I am here. I am good, I am love, and I am for you. Love, Papa.